guys welcome welcome back so today we have a little bit of a haul but it's a PR haul so this company uh, is from Ali it's Nibiru do I know I'm like completely probably saying that name incorrectly but it is a great store and they reached out to me and wanted me to see if I wanted to test a few things out so I personally have a few things in here that I also grabbed I love their caviar beads so I get them I bought these all the caviar beads I purchased but with that they sent me some other goodies so I just want to go through and show you guys what they sent me and also what I purchased so I will take out all what I got here and here so these are the caviar beads that I got like I said I purchased these I have um, other caviar beads that I've gotten from them and I just wanted to finish my collection in all honesty so I grabbed one out of every single color that they offer and they're just so gorgeous I really really love them and they are glass which I do also appreciate you know me guys I try to stick with like glass or actual rhinestones so Wow, my tummy's just growling. Um, these ones. And then the blue and silver today. Oh, they're all different. like a black oh I knew they were gonna fall and these have like mini like pixie crystals in them okay let me just turn that light on you can kind of see it a little bit better Not overly, but I guess you do see it a bit better in. There you go. Even through the glass, you see it a lot better when the light is on. Like I said, I just wanted to grab the rest to finish my collection. So now I have every color that they offer, which is quite a bit of them. They have a really good variety. Sorry, guys. All right, so now we have some crystals as a background, I suppose. Okay, now let's get into what they sent me. Okay, that's all in that bag. So they sent me some crystals. I believe these are just regular acrylic crystals. With a little extra something. Okay. They're not bad. They're cute. But as you guys know, I really do prefer the glass ones, and I believe these are just acrylic. They feel like acrylic, but they're really pretty. All the links for everything, guys, will be below, and I will definitely even link the little pixies because I just love them. And here, two packages. Oh, okay. Oh, 
Oh, so they sent me some alcohol ink. So that's actually the name of the store. Ooh, is that like a purple? I don't know if that's like a black or a purple or a blue. Here we have brown. That's a blue. That looks like a green and so that's just the marbling, the clear. Kind of bleed it out. Looks like a red. They're pretty dark tones. That looks blue. Hmm. But as I have you guys, so that is all that they sent me here. But I want to test these out. So I'm just gonna push those little pixies to the side. And like I said, I love these though. They're absolutely gorgeous. I love all of them. That's why I wanted to complete my set. They did have a sale going on not long ago. But they always have sales, guys. So I did go ahead and just prep two white swatches and I just put a matte top coat on. And I think that we are going to just see what a couple of these are all about. Let's test a couple of these colors and see what they are. So. I think that's like automatically, I think that's like an orange or a red. This is brown. Ooh. I like that color though. I'm gonna put that one over. I feel like this is a red. So this is number seven. Sorry, that was number four. They are numbered. Boy, I thought so that's definitely a red. Now they have the clear and that is what you would use. Just to kind of go in and lighten it up wherever you might want it. You're going to want to make sure to wipe your brush off before you put it back in. So you don't want that liquid inside to get all mucked up. Or you can just use a little bit of alcohol and a brush too. And all that is going to do is just kind of bleed it out so it's just not as as vibrant the color so you kind of get that true veining if you want to make the veins a little bit kind of stand out some more It's like a yellow. Okay. So all three is a yellow. They're they're really nice to work with. Don't get me wrong. I just think what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I'm not the best at it. Okay. So right now that's what we have. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it one bit. What is this here? Green, blue. I'm gonna try. Let's try 05. Okay, that's 05. Looks like a green.
That one's looking quite nice. Now let's get, ooh, what do we want here? I almost kind of think that yellow would go good, but. It's this one, this one seems like really, really dark. Mm -hmm. That one is black. Kind of wish that they had. Ooh, that lid was not on that. Dangerous. I think I'm going to go back for the yellow. not want any of that. Okay. I actually really like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in and I'm going to matte top coat that. So let's just use the Venalisa matte top. Okay, I like that it didn't smudge, so there really is next to no smudging, which is hard to accomplish. Okay, so we're going to put that one in the lamp. This one over here, I feel like if we get a little bit more of the red, let's try this one here, see what this is going on. That's a pink, I think, yeah, that's good though. I like it. Let that dry. Alrighty. Minus my little nonsense up there. I like that. You can do some fun things with inks. So this I'm just going to go over it with a matte top coat. Stick that in the lamp. Nice and clean. Okay, so I have another one here. I'm going to try the black. much better so I think the first one I just didn't have enough polish on there so yeah guys that is it and they cute so with that quickly we will just go over it with a Venalisa top coat Do this it's like oops that was probably a little much okay oops forgot to do that clean the stamper flick it let's clean up the edges okay okay and let's just go in like this Maybe don't do that. I did that a little too hard, but it worked. <laughs> there. That is super cool. That is so cool. Okay. Oh, 
We don't want a matte. We want to go in with this shiny top coat. And then I'm just going to cure that and then we will see the final product. So here we are guys. These are all the lovely inks that we got in today. A couple of their little rhinestones and then their pixies. And then what we did with it, it's a little art. I like it. It worked out really nice. And I really like the stamping on it. it makes a great background. I love that. So much fun. So like I said guys, I think it's Nibiru Do. I'm, I know I'm not saying that right. And I don't want to keep, you know, butchering their names. So all the information will definitely be linked down below. Go check them out. They do have some really nice inks. These are really great to work with. I ain't gonna lie. And I do absolutely love their little pixies. So just me. But check them out. Thank you guys for coming along with me and enjoying this little bit of a haul unboxing type of art demonstration. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. If you haven't already, make sure you guys hit that subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Bye.